Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I created this Blade Runner fan poster inspired by the iconic Tears in Rain monologue delivered by the amazing Rutger Hauer in the 1982 original film directed by Ridley Scott. To begin, I searched for the perfect frame from the movie to use as the base for my poster. You can use YouTube for this, but I found a fantastic site called shotdeck.com which offers high resolution still frames from the movies. You'll need to submit your email to get a free trial, but it's totally worth it, trust me. After finding the right frame, I noticed that the 16 by 9 aspect ratio caused some cropping, especially on the top of his head. So to fix this, I used Dolly 2, which is free, uh, to expand the image. So I uploaded the frame and gave the prompt, man with short bleached hair bowing his head in the rain at night in the city. Next, I searched for a free PSD movie poster template and found a great one, which I'll link in the description. For the iconic Blade Runner font, I went to defont.com, searched for Blade Runner, and then downloaded the font to my computer and installed it. I gathered the credit info I needed from IMDb by searching for Blade Runner 1982 and then opened the template. I dropped in the original frame and the expanded version, but it still isn't quite tall enough. So I turned it into a smart object and I selected the edges with the marquee tool and I stretched them out using content aware scale. To make everything blend seamlessly, I used a mask and a soft brush. I then replaced the text with the info from IMDB, making sure to use the official Blade Runner Red as a color overlay effect. To add some rain to this scene, I went to an amazing website called texturelabs.com that provides high resolution texture images. I applied a directional blur and then set the blend mode to screen. I also imported several layers from the texture labs to create overall lighting and used curves adjustment layers, experimenting with the opacity and the blend modes. Finally, for a nice film grain effect, I created a new layer while holding the option or alt key, set the blend mode to soft light and checked the box to fill with soft light neutral color. I then went to filter, noise, add noise, and I adjusted the value to get the perfect balance. You will need to tweak it to your liking, but that's it. Also, I've included a link to my Etsy shop if you'd like to print the full poster version. So let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.